provide uh, some profit potential for the taxpayers. Thank you. A number of questions asked uh, along these lines. How will the events of the past weeks, the bailout on Wall Street, the continued problems with the state budget, impact the green tech uh, and environmental future? Will will we be able to fund innovation? Will California be able to fund a high-speed rail system if if the economy is in crisis and there isn't federal money coming to fund these things? Well, first of all, I'm a big believer that we should not confuse the two things that are good for the future to let them be held back because of a current budget crisis. Because budget crises in California come and go. We have seen them over and over again, and they will come and they go. And this is why we had budget reform, so that we don't have those kind of crises in the future. But just because we had a problem this year and have a $15 billion structural deficit does not mean we should not go ahead and building for more water because we need water. We need above and below the ground water storage. We need to fix the delta. We need to provide more drinking water. We have an increasing population in California. We can't get stuck with a water infrastructure that is 40 years old because 40 years ago we have 18 million people. Now we have 38 million people. There's a difference. So we must move forward because even if we make a decision today, it would take 20 years to build those projects. So 20 years from now, you can't go and look back and say, I I think they had a little budget problem where they had a $15 billion deficit. That's why I decided not to build the water project. So we got to move forward with this project. The same is also with the high-speed rail. Just because we had a problem with the budget does not mean that people should vote no on the rail system. We need a high-speed rail. Our rail system in America is so old, we are driving the same speed as we did 100 years ago, the same system as 100 years ago. If we want to have mass transportation, we should modernize those things. We should do what other countries do. I mean, all over the world, we see high-speed rails that go 200 to 300 miles an hour. We should do the same thing in this country, and especially in this state. We should start here and show again, show leadership, and show the rest of the, uh, the country how to do it. So I think we should go ahead with all of those projects.